In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the dry side front lower control arm on your Nissan Rogue located right behind your front wheel. You want to go ahead and remove your center cap. Go ahead and put your fingers underneath and gently tug outward. Pop those right off. It's going to give you access to the five 21 millimeter nuts. Go ahead and loosen and remove those. Once you have those off, grab the wheel, remove it, and set it aside. Using an 18 millimeter deep socket, we're gonna go ahead, loosen and remove this nut here. This bolt goes through to the other side. You remove the nut, remove the washer. You wanna go ahead and remove this bolt. I'm gonna use my impact gun and try and remove it from the other side. Now I wanna go ahead and use our chisel. I'm gonna go right inside here. And what this is, this is the pinch bolt design ball joint. So I wanna go ahead and open this up a little bit to release the clamping pressure on the ball joint here. Using a chisel, hammer, and some safety glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and work the control arm ball joint up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and install a lug nut here. And what this is going to do is it's going to stabilize our brake rotor. And what we're gonna do is use our pole jack here. If you want to, you can use your regular jack underneath the brake rotor. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and compress our suspension. Raise up your jack and we're going to bring this up. And by raising up our suspension or compressing it, it's going to change the geometry of the control arm. This is going to allow for this ball joint to pop out a lot easier. And then we can go ahead and remove the bolts on the chassis side. I'm going to go ahead and use our pickle fork here. Go ahead and work that ball joint down and out. So we got our rust to break up. We removed our pole jack here. We installed our chisel again to open up the clamping pressure here. Go ahead and tap your chisel free. Remove the upper sway bar end link. We're gonna use a 20 millimeter wrench on the back side. We're gonna use our 18 millimeter socket on the nut side. Separate that. Let's go ahead and remove our center cap here. Reach behind that and pull outward. Set that aside. Using a 21 millimeter socket, let's go ahead, loosen, and remove these lug nuts.
Go ahead and grab that wheel. Remove it and set it aside. Remove the passenger side upper sway bar end link. With our sway bar end link disconnected, we can go ahead and push that down and give us access to the two forward mounted 21 millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove those. On the back side of the control arm, we have this vertical bolt right here. We're going to use 18 millimeter wrench on the top and an 18 millimeter socket on the bottom. At this point here, we're completely unbolted. Grab that control arm, just work that out. Line up the back portion of the control arm, work that into place. Go ahead and line up that bolt, feed that through. Just gonna get that nut started a few threads. At this point here, we can go ahead and swing that around. I'm gonna pull on that knuckle and push this up and over. Once we get that control in a position, we'll go ahead and line up our bolts here. Get these started a few threads. Now to help get this lined up a little bit easier so you can get the bolts in, simply grab the whole knuckle and the brake and just gently pull it out and away. This is gonna allow the lower control arm to pivot up. Now at this point here, let's go ahead and put our ratchet on there. I'm gonna get those bolts run all the way down. And I'm just gonna do this by hand to make sure that everything is going in nice and even. Once this bolt is bottomed out, we're going to go ahead and repeat for the other one. Go ahead and tighten down the rear bolt. Feed the bolt through the back side of the knuckle. Install the nut. Let's go ahead and tighten down the bolt. Install a sway bar end link. Put the nut on, we're going to run that down, snug this down, and then we're going to repeat for the passenger side. Torque down the lower ball joint nut to 46 foot-pounds. Tighten this down to 104 foot-pounds. Torque down the two forward mounted control arm bolts to 126 foot-pounds. Go ahead and torque the nut down to 83 and a half foot-pounds. Go ahead and take your wheel. Line that up. Let's go ahead and get the lug nuts all started by hand first. Once you have them all started, go ahead and snug them down.
Let's go ahead and torque down our lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. Now installing your center cap, you want to make sure that the notch here lines up with the valve stem. Pop it on and you're all set. Take your wheel, line it up, get that set on, and let's go ahead and install all the lug nuts by hand. Get them started a few threads. Once we have all those started, let's go ahead and snug those down. Let's go ahead and torque down our lug nuts to 80 foot pounds. Once you're all torqued down, install your center cap. You're going to pay attention to the notch here on the cap. That's where your valve stem is going to go. You're all set. Finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.